the Grade 1 Tattersall Island Juvenile Hurdle is next four on hurdle. And it's top Chaos Bell for Craig Beck with final say Darren Thompson, Military Crusade Jim Murray, Mr. Fish, Martin Lydon, potentially in spades Joshua Sutherland, Redondo Beach, Leon Van Rensburg, Cladora Alacaba, Derek Hinton, Padan Project, Martin Lydon, Ruth Noise Fanning for David Robertson, Saxon Siren, Padraig Hogan, Stiletto Hill, Daniel French, Village Witch, Jim Murray, and White Tie Flower for Derek Hinton. So 13 of them then. Called in and away. The four-year-old hurdle in division is pretty open at the moment. There doesn't seem to be that many four-year-old hurdles around this season. There are two races at Cheltenham next week. There's a handicap and a level weights grade one. So it'll be interesting to see how those two fields match up. They'll probably both be quite small. But it's final say who's got the lead at the moment for Darren Thompson. Mr. Fish is in second. Chaos Bell third as they get over the first of the eight. In comes Cladora Alacaba. Potentially so that Cladora Alacaba, Stiletto, Heel, and probably potentially in spades are the big three. But there are one or two others in there that have picked up a win this season, so. Interesting. Today to see who's going to take this. Don't forget, this is a great one as well, so. Whilst all eyes are on Cheltenham next week, this is still a grade one race in its own right. As they get to the second of the eight, and they're all over it safely. As I've said before, I'm not quite sure of the validity of having these having this Irish meter. There's a four there, Padan Project has gone. Serves me right for questioning things, that's one of mine. And whether we need to have this meeting really, I know Irish fans might be saying, well, of course we do, but in real life, they're not the week after, are they? They're not the week, well, they're not the week before Cheltenham. I mean, you don't very often get horses running. You wouldn't get a horse running this this week and then running at Cheltenham next week. So I think sometimes we've got to just say, you know what? We can't have everything. We've got to decide and cut things back a bit. But anyway, final says in the lead. Maybe it doesn't affect anybody else quite so much as it potentially could say it does mean because I find myself commentating on the same race three weeks on the trot at this time of the season because the same horses will rock up next week at Cheltenham and they'll all rock up the week after at Liverpool and they'll all rock up in the same race again the week after that in France so it can get a little bit monotonous but anyway the final stays in the lead and they get to the sixth which is the third last they've got there pretty quickly Final says in front, potential in spades is second. Clodora Alcaba is fourth, then Saxon Siren. Mr. Fish is after that one, then White Tie Flower. Redondo Beach is next, then Ruth Noir's fanning, trying to get into it. Chaos Bell on the inside, Jim Murray's pair at the back, Military Crusade, and Village Witch as they start to turn for home. And it's final say who's got first run on everybody as he gets over the second last. Still clear of Mr. Fish in second. Clodora Alacaba is in third. And Stiletto here on the inside is going to need a bit of a split between those on the outside of that one. Potentially in space. Then White Tie Flower, Saxon Siren is next. Two furlongs to go. They race down towards the final flight. Mr. Fish takes the lead. It's Mr. Fish from final saying Clodora Alacaba as they head down there towards this final flight. Mr. Fish is going to lead over it. Mr. Fish landed in the lead. Final say on the inside trying to come back. Then comes Saxon Siren and White Tie Flower. But final say gets back into the lead again. It's final say on White Tie Flower. Final say. He's going to take this one, I think. Although here comes potential in spades now, calling the strong looking run. Final say needs a line. Potential in spades wins it. Final say singing the door out. Oh, thanks to that tail. White side flower, Mr. Fish. And all the way back to Village Witch. And. Potential in spades for Joshua Sutherland. He's having a week and a half. He's having a season and a half, to be fair. Potential in space. Joshua Sutherland takes it. Final say, Darren Thompson second. Cladora Alacaba for Derek Hinton third. Stiletto Hill, Daniel French fourth. And White Tie Flower for Derek Hinton was fifth. I'm going to feed him with that. Next week, we're probably going to get three runners in the triumph and the rest of them are all going to go in the handicap.